From CBS News, this is the Saturday Early Show, coming to you from Fifth Avenue in New York City. Let your heart decide. Ah, that is Peebo Bryson coming up in our second cup cafe. He'll be performing something new that is very popular with the troops overseas, a song called Missing You. This is the Saturday Early Show, and I'm Maggie Rodriguez with Julian Medina. Hi, Maggie. Chef how are you? Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? He's going to show us how they celebrate a great Mexican tradition, El Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Yes, they actually celebrate it with lots of food. He'll be cooking some up for us. But first, here's Chris Raggy. Maggie, thank you very much. Looking forward to that. But okay, first, okay. Hey, stay with us. Our chef on a shoestring is coming up next with Maggie and a Kitchen. You're watching the Saturday Early Show here on CBS. And Julian. <laughs> Next week, after Halloween, Mexicans mark the Day of the Dead, celebrating the lives of friends and family who have passed on. Food is a key element in this celebration, and Julian Medina knows all about that. Julian has just opened his own restaurant here in New York City, Toloache, 12 years after coming to the U.S. from Mexico. And as our chef on the shoestring this morning, you're going to make a three-course meal yes. for four on our budget of 40 bucks. Of course. You can do that? Yes, of course. Thank you. Why don't you tell us first what's on the menu? Well, Julian? we're going to start making a guacamole with pumpkin, pomegranates, and apple. Then we're going to move with the uh, shrimp pozole, which is delicious. And then we're going to do a, a Day of the Dead bread pudding, which is just out of this world. Ooh, Day of the Dead bread pudding. Is this an yeah. occasion that is celebrated with an array of foods? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, in Mexico, we celebrate dead as an honoring our, our you know, relatives and family and friends. So that's why, you know, it's everything about food and enjoying. So yeah. Let's enjoy our first Definitely. course, which is a guacamole. Okay. First of all, the avocado. You have three here. How do we know which one to choose? Well, uh, the one to choose is just the, the blackish, you know, the, with the pelvis skin. Personally, I like to use Mexican um, has avocados okay. that are all year round available yeah, you now see in them the States. Everywhere. Yeah, so they're so creamy it's dark and, yeah, and it's soft. dark. Dark and soft. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you open it, they're this thing. Mm. You know, as you can see, they're really rich and creamy and they're delicious. Okay. So okay. once we have that, what do so we we're gonna mix here uh, the scrape the pumpkin. So this is a little pumpkin. Normally, it is a little you think pumpkin. they're just for decoration. We're gonna roast right? them. We're gonna roast them first, oh. like 375 degrees in an oven, and then just to scrape the flesh. Why do you roast it? It makes it soft. Yeah, it makes it soft. It makes it nice. Do you nice. want me to mash yes, it? Yes, please. Okay. And then just we're gonna add all the rest of the ingredients. I've never seen pumpkin in a guacamole. What a mm, great idea. Delicious. We're gonna put onions. some onions. We're gonna put some jalapeno. Mm, of course. You like it spicy, right? Oh yeah. Then some apples, just for oh. some crunch. Mm, they're delicious. And then what we're gonna do is just put some pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate yeah. seeds. Now why? What does that add? Well, it adds a little bit of flavor to it and a little crunch as well. A little crispy. Are they sweet or what? They're really sweet. Yes, they're really sweet. Mm, then we're gonna add some. Some mm, salt and a little sweet, bit of delicious. lime, a little bit of lime juice. And there you go. And then what we're gonna do is just put it back in the in the pumpkin, actually. You that know? is really beautiful, Julian. You help I'll me? take care of yes? that. Yes, you wanna yes. help me doing that? Great. Because I'm gonna eat it soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's as we great. move to the main course. Yeah. I'll mix this up for you because this is going to be a topping, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a topping for our pozole. Okay. So what we're gonna start here is with the olive oil. Mm, How is that? Perfect. Mm. So for Sweet, a, a little tart with the lemon, absolutely perfect. That's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to cure my cold. Yeah, definitely. So what is pozole? Pozole is just a traditional dish made out of uh, hominy and pork. But in this case, we're going to substitute it with shrimp. So people, you know, sometimes they don't need like the pork. Uh, or, uh, you know, you can do it with chicken or mm -hmm. with beef. So in this case, it's, uh, it's shrimp. So first so we, we start with do, onions and oil. We're going to do onions, garlic and oil, some tomato paste. That's a great base for almost any dish, right? Yeah, and we're going to add some more jalapeno just to pick it up oh, a little. Sure, why not? Why not, right? Claro. Claro que sí. <laughs> and then we're going to add our vegetables. Uh, okay. Some zucchini that is really nice and seasoned. Uh, some fall corn. Mm -hmm. And some tomatoes. 
tomatoes. And what is this liquid here? This is a uh, clam juice. Clam juice. Yeah, we're gonna enhance, enhance the flavor of the of the pozole. Just adding a little bit of clam juice. You know, it brings the flavor out of the shrimp. And do you than just want to do that if you're cooking a seafood? It's just pozole? yeah, yeah. Okay. If you want to do chicken or pork, I you know I substitute it for a either broth a broth, yeah, chicken broth or something. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so it's not that rich. Okay. Okay. And then how long does this cook? It, it cooks for like uh, five to ten minutes. It's very simple, very easy to make. And then we're gonna add the shrimp actually. We're uncooked. Gonna just, yeah, uncooked. Deep veined. Yeah, deep veined and clean at the end. You don't oh, want the uh, you, know, you know you don't want them overcooked. The shrimp you add it at the end so you know it, it mixes nice and well and then okay. you have a lot of flavor. Let's see what it looks like we here. We have You'll here actually some out for yes you? of course mm. of course we have already here and then I mixed all this stuff up which you, is you what you have to mix it yeah radishes, you have to mix onions. it very well radishes onions and lettuce and that, lettuce. that's gonna be our garnish. Okay I didn't do a great job mixing it so let me <laughs> use the hands all right and then yeah and then you can you can put it a little bit on the top Okay. How was that? How about that? I'm yeah, use my it's hands. better. Use yours. Yeah, totally. Beautiful. You All right. Well, I taste that. Let's this? talk about the bread pudding, the grand well, I had, finale. I had the day of the dead bread here, right oh, in front of beautiful. us. So what we're gonna do is just uh, mix some of the eggs. Mm. This tastes like home. Yeah. <laughs> mm, heaven. We're gonna I'm not Mexican, some, but it's you know, very but, like but homey, comfort food. It's homey, right? right? It's comfort food, totally. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mix all these ingredients here. I have eggs, milk, heavy cream, and then our day of the dead bread, you see? So this is what eggs, we... Eggs, milk, heavy cream. Yeah, sugar. And, and what and kind of bread? Well. This is a sweet uh, bread. You know, I'm using uh, pan de muerto, it's okay. called. But you can use brioche, you can use uh, any other sweet and bread. And soft. Soft, okay. it has to be soft. So, so and then we mix it, it very well. We mix it up. We mix it very well, and then what we do is just put it, you can put it in two ways, ramekins, mm -hmm. or I have this uh, little clay pot dish. And then, you come know? on in, guys. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 yes, but I'm sick, don't use my spoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but really, you should taste it. No, we don't want to go with the bread pudding, though, when that's ready. The bread pudding? And then, if how you don't long do you bake this? Oh. We bake it for 25 minutes in 350 degree oven. And this is? And this is the cinnamon sauce yeah. that is just oh, wow. drizzled on the top. I don't blame Chris for going for this one. Okay. That's for you. Lonnie, what would you like? Uh, you know, um, sure. I'm good. Whatever, you did, whatever, whatever, you're, you're, whatever you're doling out, Let's Meg. Let's see how you did with our budget this morning, Julian. Thank you. For the first course, you bought an avocado, Let's pumpkin, go. an onion, an apple, a jalapeno pepper, a pomegranate, and tortilla chips. For the second course, shrimp, garlic, tomato paste, corn, zucchini, a tomato, another jalapeno, clam juice, a lime, radishes, a red onion, and romaine lettuce. And for dessert, sweet bread, eggs, milk, and heavy cream. Grand total is... 3909, very nice. Could have bought even more jalapeno. Well, right. The cake is fantastic. Oh, now I got a taste. Oh, you haven't tried the bread pudding yet? Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm working on it. Like All right, thank you, so thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coming up in our second cup cafe, a real treat. Something new from People's Rice. You're watching the Saturday Early Show on CBS.